All right, we are being joined right now by Dr. Josh Harrell. He's a toxicologist, uh, specifically a cellular and molecular toxicologist with the US EPA based in North Carolina. Uh, Doc, thanks for joining us here at the conference. No, thank you for having me. What is cell painting? Explain that and what is it, uh, what's it currently used for? Happy to. Uh, so cell painting is what we call a high content imaging assay that uses uh, fluorescent microscopy and fluorescent probes to label the various structures or organelles within cultured cells and then measure changes in the cell's morphology or appearance in response to chemical stressors or genetic perturbations. What are some of the applications of cell painting in toxicological uh, research? Right. So the cell painting assay was developed primarily in the, the drug discovery space, but is finding more and more use across different, different areas of toxicology. Uh, what we propose to use it for at EPA is determining what we call molecular points of departure. So that's the threshold dose where any changes or perturbations in cellular biology begin to occur. Uh, we also use it for grouping chemicals that uh, have similar bioactivity profiles, and also for trying to infer something about the mechanisms that these chemicals may be acting through. And how do you see this developing uh, in, the, in the years to come? Oh, there's a lot of exciting things going on. Uh, there's several consortium that are out there that are trying to use this uh, assay in a collaborative fashion to predict in vivo toxicity, uh, predict toxicity in rats. Uh, the assay was originally developed in a cancer cell line, but it's actually uh, compatible with many, many different human and animal uh, derived cell lines. So the idea there is to, if you could deployment, deploy the assay across many different cell types, you can survey different aspects of, of biology. And anything here at the conference when it comes to cell painting that you hope to uh, spread spread the word on, or is it just that as a whole, cell painting and and talking about the uh, the future of this uh, initiative? Absolutely. So we have a we have a great session on Thursday morning, which will have the, the the inventors of the cell painting assay actually giving a talk, Dr. Ann Carpenter, as well as some others who are trying to use this assay in uh, agrochemical development. Myself at EPA and in the drug discovery uh, arena. We're really just looking for creative thought. We think the assay's got a lot of potential for a lot of different applications. So happy to, to talk with anybody who has some ideas about it. Okay, Dr. Josh Harrell, U.S. Uh, Environmental Protection Agency, thanks so much for your time. Enjoy the conference. Thank you, appreciate it.